Hello everybody, Andrew Majewski here with Dental Health Tutoring. So let me teach you guys how to study for the board exam, even if you decide not to take my board exam prep course. So this is not to sell you my course. This is to tell you guys how to really study, okay? The best thing to do is to mix up your studying. So don't just open up the textbook, read it chapter by chapter, do not do that. That's the biggest mistake that students make. And that is they try to study so much, they get tired and then the next day they don't remember anything and they get frustrated. Am I right? Does that sound like you? There's nothing worse than, than studying for eight hours on pharmacology. And then you go back to reread pharmacology three days later and then realize nothing thing had sunk in a couple days ago that's the worst and that happens when you don't mix up your mind so you need to be doing different things meaning study from the textbook study from your notes have people over to go through mock exam questions just ask each other random questions on a certain topic another thing that i do tell students to do is don't study too much, but be consistent. So you might be going, what are you talking about? I don't want you guys to study eight hours every day. That will not help you. Study two hours at a time, two or three hours at a time, but take breaks. I don't want people to study more than six hours every day, but this depends on you. If you work full time, you having to study six hours when you have to work that day is not going to happen. But at the very least, study two hours. So let me explain that a little bit. If you work full time on the days that you have to work, study two hours at least, whether that be first thing in the morning or in the evening time after work on your lunch break, something like that. If you do not work, though, Please be consistent and study six hours every day. It could be two hours in the morning, two hours in the afternoon, and then two hours in the evening. Or let's say you're in the groove of things. You can, see, you can study three hours that afternoon, but then study three hours in the evening. Six hours is great, but two hours minimum. And you might be wondering, well, what topics do I study? definitely mix it up, but this also depends on you. I know when I used to study for the board exam or pretty much study for anything, I could be studying pharmacology for two hours, but I kind of knew that, okay, this isn't working. I'm not feeling it. Nobody ever feels pharmacology, but some days are better than others. So that afternoon, I'm not going to study two hours more of pharmacology. I'm going to mix it up and study a topic that I know a little bit more about or that at least interests me, say nutrition, or I'll study two hours of oral pathology or something like that. So then you kind of feel better and say, okay, I actually learned a lot. This is great. And another thing, try to have a positive mindset. I know it's hard, but especially a topic like oral pathology, which you hear me talk about often. Oral pathology, you do have to know for the real world. So you studying for the board exam is helping you for the real world too. I'll be honest, there's a lot of things you will not have to know for the real world, but it doesn't matter. You need to know them for the board exam. But mix up those topics. Do not study a full day of pharmacology. You will be exhausted and you're not going to want to study tomorrow. You'll be like, forget this. Study those topics you don't like, like maybe two hours a day. Um, but do it more consistently. Like, I don't want you to study pharmacology for two hours on Monday and then by Friday, you're like, oh, I still really don't like pharmacology. I'm not even going to worry about it. I'll just study it next week. You will forget if you're not consistent. So study, say, two hours on Monday and then two hours on Thursday. But don't do eight hours or even six hours of pharmacology. Mix up those topics. Another tip is mock exams. I have lots of mock exams and case studies in my course, but if you're not a part of my course, then you can ask people in your class. Ask people you know to make up questions on certain chapters. That can be everybody's homework. If you have a study group of 20 people or even like five people, that can be everybody's homework to, to make 20 questions per topic. You can pick nutrition, oral pathology, pharmacology, you know, whatever, um, microbiology. So you can have like 20, 20 questions per topic. And then the other person can have 20, 20 questions per the topics that they chose and then mix it up. That's a great way to study because you might think you know everything about oral pathology, but then when somebody throws in mock exam questions, you might be like, oh my God, I actually don't know that. 
But don't worry, if you don't know a question, that tells you, like put a star beside it, that tells you to go back at that unit, that topic and study it some more. Then you will know it. That's the best thing to do that will really help you pass the board exam. In my course, we meet once a week, sometimes three times a month, depending on if there's a holiday. And that's all we do. For our study sessions online, we go through a full hour of mock exam questions and case studies. So you study that topic first, and then I hit you with the hard questions. My mock exam questions are not easy. They're designed to trick you because two answers are always right. You need to pick the most correct, right? So I teach you guys every step of the way how to pick the most correct so you're more confident. So even if you're not a part of my course though, it doesn't matter. You need to build up that confidence. So really study hard. The more confident you are, the greater chances you will pass because you just feel better about everything. But it's normal to be nervous. If somebody tells you they're not nervous to take the board exam, they're lying to you and don't listen to them. They're very nervous. So a recap, you guys, study six hours a day at the most, at least two hours if you work full time. Mock exam questions are your friend. Take lots of mock exam questions, form study groups. Always study, mix it up though. Chapters in your textbook, chapters in your notes from school, even online learning, whatever you want to do, definitely mix it up. So I hope this helps you guys. Good luck on the exam. Let me know if you need any help and I'll see you guys in the next one.